Greetings to all participants and thank you very much for joining us today. We will now begin the first international symposium on global citizenship education opening ceremony. My name is Hiroko Tomioka from the Soka University Faculty of Education. I will be the MC for today's event. Greetings by Professor Masashi Suzuki, President of Soka University. Good morning to all distinguished guests present here today. Thank you very much for joining us today at the first international symposium on global citizenship education. Firstly, I would like to sincerely thank the four keynote speakers, including Dr. Jim Garrison, for having accepted our offer to be here today, participants who have prepared paper presentations for the parallel sessions, and everyone present here today to make this symposium possible. Ahsoka University approached its 50th anniversary in 2021. The Ahsoka University Grand Design 2021 to 2030 was formulated as a new 10-year mid to long-term plan toward 2030. The theme of the Grand Design is a university that fosters global citizens that can create value. As it sets forth the direction of the university's development for the next 10 years. When considering global citizenship and value creation, the lecture delivered by the founder, Mr. Daisaku Ikeda, titled Thoughts on Education for Global Citizenship, a Teachers College, Columbia University in the city of New York in 1996, is of great significance. The lecture is the culmination of Mr. Ikeda's philosophy on global citizenship education, and it is of great significance to the education and research of Soka University. It also offers important approaches for the future direction of Soka University. In the lecture, Mr. Ikeda states, quote, value creation is the capacity to find meaning to enhance one's own existence and contribute to the well-being of others under any circumstance, unquote. He further defines global citizens as people capable of value creation on a global scale and points out the three requirements of a global citizen, that is, wisdom, courage, and compassion, that will be explained in detail in the keynote speeches later. Since Mr. Ikeda's lecture at the Teachers College, Soka University has been steady, steadily researching and practicing global citizenship education. In particular, the Ikeda Research Institute for Soka Education has taken the lead in pursuing the significance of global citizenship education and its importance from various perspectives. The Research Institute is also responsible for organizing and holding this first international symposium on global citizenship education. In 2014, the book titled Living as Learning, John Dewey in the 21st Century was published. It is a dialogue between three experts, namely Dr. Jim Garrison, who served as the president of the John Dewey Society of America in the past, Dr. Larry Hickman, and Mr. Daisaku Ikeda. In the book, founder Ikeda discussed how Mr. Tsunesaburo Makiguchi, the father of Soka education, was also greatly influenced by Dewey's educational philosophy. The book says, quote, Makiguchi paid keen attention to Dewey's philosophy and emphasized the excellence of the idea, of his ideas. In his celebrated The School and the Society, Dewey advocated living primarily and learning through and in relation to this living. President Makiguchi incorporated this aspect of Dewey's philosophy in what he called the life of great good. 
the practice of life reforming that was the Soka Kyoiku Gakkai's goal. Unquote. In this way, it is clear that Mr. Makiguchi, the Soka education, was inspired by the philosophy of Dewey, who placed life itself at the center of the education. Global citizenship is not an abstract concept. Rather, its true value lies in its tangible manifestation in our actions and interactions with others in creating a peaceful and sustainable world. It is in this way that we can build a world in which we can live with others while maximizing our own potential. Therefore, global citizenship education must explore better ways for learners to embody global citizenship in their daily lives. With this in mind, we have chosen Restoring Learning to Daily Living, Global Citizenship and John Dewey as the theme of the symposium this year. With great pleasure, we have invited Dr. Jim Garrison, a leading scholar of Dewey, and Dr. Chiharu Fuji, President of the Dewey Society of Japan, to deliver keynote speeches today. In addition, we are pleased to have Mr. Shigeru Aoyagi, Director of UNESCO Bangkok, a United Nations agency that aims to develop and implement programs related to education and culture based on the idea of global citizenship. We are also pleased to be joined by Professor Masumi Odari, a graduate of our university who is setting examples as a global citizen and is currently teaching at the University of Nairobi, Kenya. They will also be delivering the keynote speeches later. Once again, I would like to offer my sincere gratitude to the four keynote speakers here today. <laughs> Finally, it is my hope, sincere hope, that all distinguished guests and participants will engage in meaningful discussions about global citizenship and global citizenship education at today's first international symposium on global citizenship education. Once again, thank you very much for your attendance today. Greetings by Mr. Yasunori Tashiro, the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Soka University. Good morning. Welcome to Soka University. So I will be speaking in Japanese. Eh, hon jitsu wa kinen subeki dai kai no. 世界市民教育シンポジウムにご出席くださり誠にありがとうございます。I would like to express my gratitude to all for attending the momentous first international symposium on global citizenship education today. Thank you very much. 今回の世界市民教育シンポジウムは音楽の創立50周年記念行事の一環として計画してまいりました。約 2年間の準備期間を経て本日 23カ国地域から約 150名の先生方をお迎えして開催することができました誠にありがとうございましたこのシンポジウムが世界市民教育に関して活発で有意義な討論の場になればこれに勝る喜びはございません。どうかよろしくお願いいたします。This international symposium on global citizenship education was planned as the final event of the university's 50th anniversary commemorative project. After two years of preparation, today, we are welcoming around 150 researchers from 23 countries and regions to the conference. There is no greater happiness than to have this symposium be a place of active discussions on global citizenship education. 
Lastly, I would like to close by wishing that today marks a new milestone for your research. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. And thank you again for coming to Soak University for today's symposium. My name is Andrew Gebert. I'm with the Cato Research Institute for Soka Education, and I will be facilitator for the first plenary session. In this session, we will have two keynote speeches followed by a question and answer session. To begin, I would like to invite our first speaker, Professor Jim Garrison, to come to the podium. He will be delivering his keynote speech entitled, Embodying Global Citizenship. Uh, first of all, let me say it was an honor to be invited to keynote the first international symposium um, on global citizenship education um, hosted by Soka University. The title of my talk, which I think you'll find a bit unusual, not the title, but the talk, is Embodying Global Citizenship. All too often, I believe, educators forget that their students have a body. Indeed, do use the phrase body-mind to indicate that the body and the mind were ultimately one thing. I'm going to emphasize the embodiment component of the fact that the body and the mind is one thing. Useful distinction, but no dualism. I will identify and discuss some competencies that are among the most important aims of global citizenship education. I will accentuate creativity, especially co-creativity. I will also identify some virtues of global citizenship education before concluding that such education must always begin in the local community. I will also strive to expand our thinking by drawing on John Dewey's emphasis on the importance of embodiment. Thank you very much, Professor Garrison, for that very thought-provoking um, presentation, which I think will stimulate a lot of questions and discussions later in, uh, <clears throat> in our session today. Now I would like to invite Professor Fujichi Cheharu to come to the podium, which is just now being prepared for him. Professor Fuji will be presenting a keynote <coughs> speech entitled John Dewey's Meliorism, the Logic of Intelligence and the Formula of Human Effort Using Intelligence. Progressivism propelled on such a principle that human can improve the world through their effort with their own intelligence. In Dewey's book, Democracy and Education, he explained the notion of experience as the formula of human activities for problem solving, in which humans are required to make the most use of their intelligence. After democracy and education, on the basis of experience as a key compass on concept. Dewey urges many kinds of theme: philosophy, humanity, politics, ethics, art, religion, and so on. Thank you very much, Professor Fuji, for that very interesting <coughs> presentation. I think the two presentations really. Uh, spoke to each other in very important ways, and I think that really sets us up for a, a very good uh, question and answer session. Our first speaker for this session is Mr. Shigeru Aoyagi, Director of UNESCO Bangkok, Asia and Pacific Regional Bureau for Education. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Professor Suzuki, the president of Soka University. Uh, Dr. Tashiro, chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Soka University. Distinguished speakers, Professor Garrison, uh, Professor Fuji, and Professor Udali. Distinguished faculties and researchers, 
Good morning to you all. <clears throat> well, the, it's my great honor to be here to join you at this first international symposium on the global citizenship education. I think this the, uh, symposium is a kind of testimony of the strong commitment of the Soka University to promote the global citizenship education as well as reaffirming the power of education to address the global challenges. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Aoyagi. The next keynote speaker is Dr. Masumi Hashimoto Odari, Senior Lecturer at the Department of Literature at the University of Nairobi. She will be delivering her keynote speech titled, Nurturing Global Citizen Through Teaching Literature. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm honored to have been invited to speak to you today at my alma mater, Soka University, where I studied 36 years ago, but don't count the age. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank the founder of Soka University, Dr. Daisa Ikeda, who is my mentor, and Soka University, represented by Professor Suzuki and Mr. Tashiro, uh, for this opportunity. Thank you very much, Dr. Odari. So thank you very much for all the wonderful discussion. <laughs> <laughs> 